Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface, the PTR for patch 8.1 hit on Friday. So let's jump on there and let's see if we can find something fun to get on with. Let's go to MMO Champ and look at some pretty pictures instead. Well, hello there. I'm in this corner today because it's actually easier for you to see the forms that we're going to look at. If I go there, if I was in the other corner, then we'd be blocking all the good stuff. So I might move the screen uh, to show some things. So over the course of the weekend, um, a few, quite a few people have been saying to me, as what do you think about the new Druid forms for the Zandalari and the Colterians? Now, there's only been a couple of forms that have been data mined so far that I'm aware of. And because the PTR for 8.1, as we've seen, ain't working too good right now. I can't create a druid and I can't see if they've put any other forms on. So I'm just going to have to wait for that to get fixed. And we'll have to have a look at what is up and available on MMO Champ. Uh, and I do recommend go to MMO Champ, check them out. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just a website that I like to go to. So if I'm going to, you know, use their source material in this video, then uh, they deserve a little bit of a push. So uh, go over to MMO Champ, check out their uh, their patch stuff and whatnot. We're going to start off, before we have a look at the Zandalari and the Colterian couple of forms that have been data mined, we're just going to have a look at this. This is a tweak to the High Mountain Torren Druid. Uh, now, because I don't have a druid, I'm not exactly sure. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it's the antlers that they've changed, maybe, and maybe this round the side. Druids, help me out here. Uh, but I think that is, uh, you know, for the most part, it's still classic uh, boomkin form. And bear that in mind for when we uh, when we have a look at the Colterians later. Um, so bear that in mind. But it's it's okay. So they put the antlers on. I imagine instead of the uh, whatever is there. I don't know. What is that? I don't know. Maybe nothing. I'm not sure. Uh, so there you go. This is the high mountain torrent form, which has been adjusted accordingly. The aquatic form for the Zandalari trolls has been data mined, and holy crap! I think that looks spectacular. I really do love this form. Love this form. Um, just so menacing. Just so horrifically menacing. It's great. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, the tusks, of course, from the trolls. So you have these wonderful tusks with their adornments on. The great Zandalari uh, necklace. Necklace, neck brace, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that goes on there too. Uh, very much distinguishing it from the other forms. And a little bit of... Uh, jewelry, 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 jewelry. Oh God, no! Better not cite Jimmy Savile. A uh, little bit of uh, jewelry on the tail, and uh, some earrings, and also some uh, jewelry on the tusks, as mentioned. Now then, there are multiple different colours uh, based off. I imagine the colour skin of the Zandalari that you choose. Uh, let's just scooch that over. I wanted to get this major. I wanted to get that in fully. I think this is the main piece. This is the centerpiece and this. Uh, these are the two most important things. Um, and although, like, that form, that colour, and that colour all look relatively similar. They've all got some sort of, like, greeny greyish blue going on. Boom! This one here completely separates itself and, to some degree, makes it look a little bit like a different creature altogether. Because uh, the brown... The reddish brown, the burnt sienna. Ooh, should we go with a bit of burnt sienna? A bit of burnt sienna on the old uh, fins and whatnot. Uh, almost make this aspect of the aquatic form feel completely different. And it feels like a, a, a new animal because these, these, and this. They all kind of blend in a bit because of the colour scheme. But boom. That actually looks as if it's got some proper armor plating on it or or something of that ilk. Can we just get a little... There we go. Let's get a little bit bigger. Uh, look at it. That is, that is really great. That is really great. Now, 
I wanted to, I wanted to comment on some of the art because yeah, in the last video I took the Mickey out of Tarande's uh, form at the end. Yeah, part joke, part not joke. Um, because the new Tarande model, I don't know, looks a bit weird. Kind of looks like she's wearing what's left of Darnassus. Um, but you know, uh, the it's very very rare that the art department make me sort of question why why have they done that? Why have they done that? And this is absolutely one of these occasions. It's just awesome stuff. Just awesome stuff. I think I think it's great. So uh, Zandalari, of course, isn't going to be available straight away. Uh, Blizzard said we're going to have to complete the um, siege of Z uh, Zuldazar raid first, and then they'll come later after that. So it could be several months away until we see the Zandalar. And the Cold Tyrians. Uh, but when they arrive, you know, I'm pretty sure Blizzard will want some of that race change. Ka-chink, ka-chink. And uh, the art department are doing their best to tempt you to do that. So good stuff. Let's get on to the thing that was is causing some... Di not division. I think that's a bit too severe. But it's causing some people to go, hmm. Hmm. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video... High Mountain Torrent Change, but very much classic Boomkin. Colterian Boomkin. Boom. Kin. Uh, look at that. Let's just scooch this across a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at this. This is quite different. Uh, the, the beak area almost looks skeleton in, in nature, as opposed to... What we know here is like classic -y eagle, eagle face. So uh, it almost looks very skeletal in nature. And of course, these protrusions that we see all over it. My take on this, I rather like it. I rather like it. And I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why. Because this is just perfect for Drustvar. This, this is just perfect for the Drustvar setting. I think Drustvar is the, the best leveling zone for the Alliance. Um, and the whole story there, the whole witches, the Wiccan, uh, the the uh, supernatural element. I think it was just all really kind of unique and interesting. And I got I got really into the, the leveling in Drustvar. It's, it's a good experience, put it that way. This really, really complements that perfectly. It, uh, it complements the Wicker stuff, the Wiccan and the Wicker stuff, both. Um, you know, it kind of looks almost uh, witch-like in nature. And you've kind of got that um, Wicker Man vibe uh, that you had from the... Can't remember quite what you call them. Uh, like, are they called like Leshen in, in the Witcher? Like the Leshens? Which are kind of like the tree creatures that you sort of see in Drustvar as well. I think it's the lesson, maybe. I'm sure somebody, I'm sure some kind soul will correct me in the comment section down below if I'm wrong. Um, but I, I think that just fits in absolutely perfectly. And you have, of course, I imagine depending on the type of uh, Colterian that you choose, different skin colours as well. My own personal favourite, difficult. Quite like this green because this is very camouflagey. So I really do quite like the camouflage cl uh, camouflage aspect of it. Uh, this one, yeah, you know, I like. Again, it's it's. It, I think they're all very rather cool. Uh, this one again, it's another camouflagey one and a little bit similar to that uh, scheme of the um, Zandalari aquatic form. So you know that is that is pushing a button or two with me. And then this is probably my least favourite. I think this one is just slightly bland on the the colouring uh, scheme around it. But uh, the other three, yeah, I think that I think they work really, really well. So you have that uh, Leshen, uh, Wiccan, Wicker, supernatural vibe, and you also have very much perfectly intertwined with it. The druidness of it, the nature uh, aspect of it too. So I think um, both of these forms that we've seen so far, the aquatic form and also the uh, boomkin form for the Colterians and the Zandalar, good stuff. 
Good stuff. Good to see that they're not wearing parts of Boralis and Zordazar. Ah, so there you go. Let me know. Druids, are you happy with these forms? And people who just like to look at pretty things. Do you think these are cool druid forms or not so much? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.